Paula Jo from Cedar Quilts. I have a quick tip Tuesday for you. Oh, I love my leader grips and these little plastic clips to hold my quilts on. Love them. I oftentimes talk about my leader grips and how I love these. This is just the best system for attaching quilts. This little blue rod fits into the hem of the leader that's hooked to your roller. But these leaders usually come with a good inch, a little more than an inch hem. And this rod is kind of small, so it flops around in there. And as I'm putting the, the, the clips on and I'm hooking the fabric on there, that little extra bit of play gets to be in the way sometimes. So I recently took them off and I washed them and I squared them up again and got them all nice and clean. And instead of leaving the hem this full inch and a little bit more, I actually stitched fairly close, not too tight, not too tight, but I, I stitched a lot closer to the rod so that now that fits in there nicely and it doesn't have quite so much extra room to get in the way and and whatnot so let me show you how we did that so this is a brand new leader this is what comes with your machine and you attach it to the the pole on the frame and then you attach your quilts to this part and it comes with a, a hem it usually is a fairly wide hem and maybe your brand is different maybe you have a really skinny hem or maybe you don't have any hem and you need to add a hem but this is the leader this is the fabric attached to your frame on the the belly bar or the back bar these are leader grips it's a, a system where you put a, a plastic tube inside the hem of your leader and then there are these little clips and it helps you to attach the fabric of your quilt back or your quilt top to your leader and it's wonderful i love these leader grips by regina's quilting studio leadergrips.com um, they're wonderful but these don't always fit well in the pre-existing hem or if you don't have any hem you have to put one on there so anyway I recently took off my old leaders and washed them and fixed this size of this hem because every time I was going to do a new quilt, I thought, oh, after this quilt, I have got to fix that the size of that hem so that the leader grip pole will fit in there better so that it's not so sloppy when I clip that on there. But anyway, yeah, I finally did. So anyway, if you have leaders on your frame and they don't fit perfectly, oh yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it. Here you go. Oh, it's a busy day here at Cedar Quilts. We just put up our sale prices on the classes for our first three classes. I have taken off my leaders and washed them and dried them and pressed them and I am resizing the casing so that my leader grips fit a little bit better. That helps a lot. Okay, I have two more to do. Ooh, and the dryer's almost ready. See you later. After I washed and dried my old leaders, they, um, they shrunk just a little bit and so the Velcro edge had gotten a little bit wonky so I ripped that off and I washed them and dried them again so that now I can put these back on and it will be nice and smooth and flat. So, oh, it'll be so nice. Oh, they look so nice and clean. Oh, I love them. And that new little edge is going to be that new... Um, that gusset is going to be the right size now for the for the leader grips. So yay, I'm so excited. It'll be fun. Well, now that I've got that all stitched back on again, there definitely was some shrinkage when I washed those leaders. But oh, they're so much nicer now. And now everything's nice and smooth again. So I'm going to clip that off and put them back on my frame. Thank you.